Hey Brick fans, this is Dave from Brick 101, and today I'm going to show you how to build Dave from Brick 101 out of Lego. Over the years, many people have asked me to build a minifig version of myself, and while my sig fig has been around for a long time, I decided with the advent of brick heads that it was time to build a version of myself at a slightly larger size, so it was a meatier video than just a quick minifig build. So I'll be showing you how to build my minifigure version of me, or sig fig, as well as the brick heads version of me. And I even have two versions of the Brickhead version of me. One that's kind of the ideal version based on my minifigure, and the other one is built only using parts from the new set Go Brick Me. Happy birthday, Dave. I had Alfred buy this cake for you. Thanks, Batman. That's really thoughtful. I'm going to enjoy this cake. Yeah, it's from the Series 18 collectible minifigures. Yeah, I knew that. Well... So did I, so yeah. Also, I have a business proposition for your birthday. Oh yeah? What's that? I think you should start selling shout-outs so that fans can get little roleplay videos for their birthdays. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, I already set it up for you. There's a link in the description where people can go pay to get a roleplay from you on Cameo.com. Okay. I'm not kidding. In a way, this video also serves as a review of the Brickhead set Go Brick Me, which is set 41597, contains 708 pieces, and retails for about $30 in the United States. There's a link in the description where you can buy that set online. And oh my gosh, that set is amazing. It gives you enough pieces to build two full brick heads, uh, totally customizable in a variety of skin tones with accessories, uh, and it leaves you with a lot of leftover pieces that are really great, useful pieces for all sorts of buildings. So highly, highly recommend this set. So there's not a lot to the minifigure version of me. I've put a link in the description to a Brick Owl wish list where you can find where to get all of these pieces. Um, but basically for the legs, I do a dark tan. Uh, you could also do a brown. Um, I also wear gray pants and blue pants, so there's a variety of legs you could use. But if you're going for the exact look of my official sig fig, dark tan it is. Then for the torso, I've got this Lego City blue torso. It's kind of a blue jacket over a dark red shirt. Um, kind of mimics a lot of what I wear, which is often um, like a open button-down shirt over a t-shirt. Um, so I always like the look of it. I also love the color blue, so it works really well. If you don't have this, some other kind of blue torso uh, will work really well um, as a substitute. For my head, I've got this great face that is reversible. On the one side, I've got glasses and I'm smiling. And on the other side, my glasses are askew and I'm uh, kind of upset and uh, that's kind of the face. Uh, that's kind of the sound I think of for this face is uh, uh, This is great for doing different role plays and photography with this character, so I can have those two different expressions uh, still both really look like me. Uh, this is a rare head. It was only in some Alien Conquests and a Lego Ideas set back when it was Lego Kuso. Uh, so it hasn't been available for seven years or so. Uh, so you can use some other Lego head with glasses if you can't find this. Also worth noting, I did this as a yellow flesh figure, so yellow head, yellow hands, but you could also use the light uh, flesh color or peach color if you could find a head with glasses in that and then just switch out the hands as well. And on top, I've got this dark brown minifigure hair. It's kind of the new standard for kind of male figures in Lego town sets. Um, I've used just the old school brown hair for my figure as well. Um, as long as it's brown or dark brown, that's generally the range my hair kind of looks like. And if you want to build the rest of my family, um, you can build my husband Bert as well as our dog Sophie. Bert's Sigfig uses light gray pants, 
this dark blue kind of uh, flannel button down, the smirky face, and the regular brown hair. I sometimes do the dark orange hair for him as well. That's, I think, a little closer to his actual hair color, uh, but his hair color is kind of hard to represent in Lego. Um, yeah, so if you've seen my Instagram feed uh, over the years, sometimes I take these little three figures on vacation with us and photograph them around the world. Um, so yeah, that's my little Lego family. Some other fun things that you could build to go with Minifigure Me is a camera on a tripod. Obviously, I am a YouTuber. I spend a lot of time talking into a camera on a tripod, like I'm doing right now. Uh, I built this for the Lego animation book. So take it apart real quick. You can see how it works. So the core is a Travis brick. Uh, I'm using a dark gray one. And it's on a three long light gray rod. That it's kind of the color scheme of my actual tripod. And then each of the legs is just a black one by one plate with clip and a gray one by two plate with handle. Uh, I'm using dark gray, though light gray would also work kind of color scheme wise. So three of those, since it is a tripod, tripod. So three of those, since it's a tripod. And the other thing is that I took a regular camera piece here and then this here is one of those black one by one round tiles with a tiny bit of a bar on it, relatively new piece, and then a clear one by one round plate. I'll stick that in the front and then it becomes a little bit bigger of a camera, kind of looks more like a DSLR, uh, which is what I film on. And then the uh, rod can fit in the bottom there. I've got a nice tripod that's about uh, minifigure height and you can always bend down the legs uh, to make it a little bit lower as well as adjusting uh, the rod through the Travis brick. And if you want to finish out a whole little scene from the Lego animation book that stars my Sig Fig, uh, you could build this little animating scene that I did in the book. So this desk down here is based on uh, the desk I used to animate on. So this is a bunch of one by six tiles, 10 of them in tan lined up like so, held together by a bunch of plates on the bottom. You can see since it's a five long table um, using things that are four long, alternated with some things that are one long, got some one by threes. Each of the legs is two one by one plates and a one by four plate. So that's kind of the table. It's not the most stable thing, but that is technically where the legs are on my table. Um, now this is something I already did a how to build on. These are micro scale versions of the mini modular set that was designed by uh, Jamie Berard. So I'll put a link up there in the corner to that old how to build on the micro modulars. Uh, so I just took those since they are already tiny versions of Lego sets, put them on a black, what is that? It looks like a four by 10 plate. Um, back here for the sky, this is just a uh, one by 12 by, let's see, five plus one layer of plate, uh, medium blue. Uh, one thing that I did change is I put one uh, white headlight brick in there so I could attach uh, that white cloud piece. And I think I built out a couple more two by two round plates when I did this for the book uh, to be some clouds in the background. And in the book, I use these little trophy micro figs for people. But now that we have this wonderful new micro fig set that just came out as a free gift with purchase that has these classic uh, minifigures turned micro figs, those are even better for going on here as little characters. Whoops. And uh, this baby T-Rex piece from the old uh, dinosaurs and studio set works really well as a T-Rex uh, attacking uh, the little micro figures. So that's like a nice little stop motion animation set that you could build to go with me as a brick filmer. Okay, just going to move this micro figure a tiny 
segment, then I'll go click the button on my camera to take the next picture in my stop motion animation, and oh my god, I knocked everything over, it's ruined. <laughs> now let's see how to build the brickhead versions of me. Starting off with the shoes, we'll do a dark gray 1x2 for my shoes, then some dark tan 1x2 plates for my pants, build two legs like that, connect them with a 2x4 in dark tan, and do two more 2x4s or a 4x4 four four if you have it, and now you've got legs. Legs, legs, I've got legs! And it's literally me this time. Uh, on the front, do a 1x2 in dark red tile, then some blue headlight bricks, some Erling bricks on the bottom, though they could be new style. Then a new style going forward up here, though it could be an Erling. The only one that's super important that it be exactly this type is this one, which should be a new style going sideways. Um, let's show off this cool thing here. Uh, oh yeah, so <laughs> what is that thing? Uh, one by two plate in blue, one by two brick in dark red, and a one by two tile in blue. That is all gonna go on sideways, connecting to that headlight brick. Um, so that builds out kind of the detail of the jacket and the shirt under it. Uh, and the shirt flares out at the bottom where the jacket uh, goes out, which matches the minifigure really well. Um, so I'm pretty proud of how that turned out. Um, filling out these other spaces on the front, one by one tiles to kind of be like the pockets sticking out and this one by one round gray with a soda tab on it. Uh, that, I thought that was a really great way to represent the zipper on the minifig torso. So feel pretty good about how that turned out. Flipping around, on the inside we'll need two two by two bricks of any color and they can be square or round. So just yellow and a red in there. Then some one by two blue plates on either side, and our lovely Brickheads bricks. One on each side. In the back, we'll take some 1x4 blue bricks, build up to surround that. Then for the arms, take a 2x2 two two in blue, plus a 1x2 plate, and then one of these 1x2 uh, with a clip centered on it in tan, for the hands, if you don't have those, because they're easy to run out of, uh, one by one plate with clip and a tile, and then you just offset them and mirror them per side. But going like this for a second, we've got those. Okay, building up the head, start with a two by four in blue, two by two in tan, and some one by twos in blue. This is to give a little bit of my neck kind of showing through at the uh, top of the shirt. Then do a whole bunch of brick heads bricks all the way around in two layers, as we like to do in brick heads. Doodly doo, doodly doo, doodly doo. Uh, go ahead and take a stack of three bricks of any color and a two by two plate. Stick that in the middle. You can do a pink one in there if you want to have that brain aspect. And a next level of our brick head bricks. For the front of the face, a nice 4x4 four four tan plate works well, or 2x4s if you don't have the 4x4. Four four. Then a 2x4 tile, 1x4 tile, a jumper plate, 1x2 in the center, and some one by one plates for where the eyes will go, our patented brick head eyes. Boop. Having some trouble there. And then uh, this new square glasses piece is awesome. It comes in Go Brick Me. Hopefully in future brick heads like, I don't know, Harry Potter or other people with glasses, they'll start including these uh, in just standard off the shelf brick heads. Uh, but for now, only comes in that one set. 
Finishing up my hair on the back, we'll do a two by four plate. Then we'll cover it all with some curvy downward slopes. So maybe some two by twos maybe a two by two and some one by twos, maybe one of these one by fours, whatever you've got at this point to fill it all up. Up here, we'll do a two by two and a corner plate and then a two by two, filling again with a lot of these curvy downwards. So some two by twos, a one by two plus a two by two. And then up front, We'll do a curvy one by two down that way. A one by one square plate there. I thought just having that one exposed stud uh, looked right for the messiness of my hair. And then these uh, quarter circle tiles there and there. Reattach the glasses since they fell off and go ahead and stick the whole thing on the lower part of the body and you've got a nice Dave from Brick 101 Brickhead, AKA me. Hey Brick fans, it's me, Dave from Brick 101. No, it's me, Dave from Brick 101. No, I'm the Dave. No, I'm the Dave. Uh, how can we settle this? A build off maybe? Oh, I fell over. There go my glasses. No, I'm the Dave. All right, so now let's look at how you could build me if you're only using pieces from the set Go Brick Me. Um, so for the shoes here, we've still got dark gray one by twos, but then we've got one by twos in the nougat, or I think it's called medium dark flesh color. So two of those stacked up and then do two of those for the legs. Then a two by four in flesh uh, and some more two by fours, and then you've got legs. Uh, these actually ended up looking a little more like the actual color of my favorite pair of pants than the uh, dark tan color is, uh, but I did dark tan since that's uh, kind of my official minifig leg color, but this is also a really accurate leg color to like pants I wear. So then take a brick head brick and one of these uh, medium azure pieces, then if you've got it, a one by two plate, but since this was uh, my second brick head I was building from the kit, uh, I was down to just one by ones in tan, and here I used a tan jumper. So you can get creative if you're trying to squeeze as much out of that set as possible. And then a, another one by two in azure and a one by two tile. Uh, so build two of those. Those will be your arm assemblies. Then in the middle, two of these green round bricks. Then some one by fours in light medium azure. Two of them on the back and two of them on the front. And the sticker I chose for my t-shirt is this kind of um, synthesizer, like volume levels look. I think there was like a DJ minifigure that had it, but there's a really great selection of stickers in the Go Brick Me set uh, that you can use to make different uh, t-shirts and whatnot. So you've got a lot of choices there depending on uh, what you wanna do for shirts. Building the front part of the head is gonna be very similar to what we did for the other brick head, uh, just mainly that this blue is different. So it's the azure instead of regular blue with one by twos, two by four, two by two in tan. Then the level above that is all brick head brick. And in the center, uh, two two by two bricks of any color. Red is what I'm using from the official set. So many brick head bricks. Yeah, losing things. Some more brickhead bricks up above, so everything's nice and connected. Uh, in here, a two by two round, and then you can put your two by two brain brick. Finish up brickhead bricks all the way around. And now on the front, some two by fours in tan, two by four tile, one by four tile, that jumper plate, one by two, some one by one tan plates with brickhead eyes on them, and the square glasses. Hello. 
I'm bald. Okay, now we'll do the side of the head. So two by two in tan, one by two plate, one by two in brown, two by two in brown, whoops, one by two in black, and one by two in brown. This is slightly different than how we did the plates up there before. Double cheese slope in tan for the ear. One by four tile in black for the glasses. Quarter tile there in brown. One by two in brown. And here's a piece I forgot on the other version of me, which is a one by two downward slope uh, on there. So if you go back to the other version of me, add that missing downward slope. Makes it a little bit better. Uh, on the other side, two by two tile, one by two plate, one by two in brown, two by two in brown, one by two brown, one by two black, one by four tile in black, double cheese slope for the ear, one by two tile and a quarter tile. And this one does not have a curvy slope on that side, so it is uh, asymmetrical. So what's really nice about the Go Brick Me set is that you don't have to come up with these hairstyles on your own. They give you instructions to build a wide variety of hairstyles, um, all of which can be made in three different colors, I think, as well as a hat, uh, details like beards, ponytails, uh, all cool stuff like that. So I started with this hair design and then took some pieces off of it uh, because uh, I'm balding a little bit so I don't have hair in that spot on my forehead uh, to make it look a little bit more like me. So that's what's nice is you have a lot of starting options here uh, and uh, can then adjust them from there. Okay, finishing up the hair, two by four plate on the back. Then a whole bunch of these one by four curvy downward slopes all the way up, or whatever curvy downward slopes you've got at this point. Up here, uh, two by two, one by two, two by two, and a one by one. Uh, whoops, that whole chunk fell off. Uh, there is a corner plate in there I think you could use there. Then some Curvy downward slopes, two by two, one by two, two by two, two by two, uh, one by two up front, then that one by one plate and those quarter round tiles up there. So now you've got my head. You can stick it on the body. Do 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 do. Lego Dave. He's made out of Lego and he plays with Lego. That's his job, he's Lego Dave. So, in summary, that's how you build me out of Lego. Uh, there's also that gigantic Lego head that David Pagano built of me. Uh, I don't have instructions for that, but I have asked him for the LDRAW file of that uh, in case anyone wants to build the giant bust of my head. Uh, maybe we'll have that down the line, but for now, the minifigure and brick head version should hopefully fulfill most of your Lego Dave needs. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Brick 101, and check out all my other how to build videos.